finally the cows are off this part of the field <laughs> as you can see the grass is a little bit tall here and there but should not be a problem all we need is here this is our base camp I brought my Garmin tool again so I can keep track of where I've been well really hope to fill these two boxes up although that might be wishful thinking <laughs> without further ado let the adventure begin come on my first target is gonna be a little bit of iron it's pretty deep in the, down in the hole well I'm just showing you I'm I'm basically gonna dig everything I mean these shards of medieval coin that I found in the field next to it they gave a really bad signal as well so we'll probably dig a lot of holes today <laughs> the cool thing is if you dig scrappy signals sometimes you're surprised sorry for the background noise I hope they will stop soon <laughs> well, I've got a shard of pottery and some decoration I think it's made out of pewter and like I said these are, these are scrappy signals but nonetheless they are definitely finds I've decided to move away a little bit from the noise <laughs> it doesn't help in making a video on to my first pewter find oh no second actually but you know this is gonna be a pewter spoon again <laughs> just part of a spoon bowl don't think it's really old probably late 1800s it's very light but keep it for sure always hope to find nice things to display goodness me this is a cool display piece <laughs> really really nice as it starts to drizzle a little bit but you know we don't care if we get wet anyway especially when finds like these pop out of the ground look at that that is a beautiful uh, dog it looks kind of mean actually <laughs> it's made out of pewter I, well I'm missing most of it but I've got the coolest part probably that is cool wow really really nice <laughs> bring it on a very faint little signal And I dug down deeper already because I couldn't find it at first but there seems to be a little coin in the wall here or something else I'm not really sure but it looks like a little coin oops where did it go there it is probably gonna be a half cent King Willem half cent 1800s coin early 1800s uh, I know when the Spanish occupation was here in Holland in the 1600s they were here for sure and I hope to find some evidence of that but so far we're like 200 years off <laughs> but you know the first coin with a little bit of detail I should not complain. I dug a fair amount of these. Goodness me. Hot rocks. They give quite a good signal sometimes. Don't like it, but I'll dig through them. And two more little finds. Small little button and a little buckle. Not terribly old, I would guess. I don't know if I should get excited by this find. <laughs> maybe you guys can tell me I think I'm onto a Chinese coin now I never found one like this before I've seen people dig them up in America I think I have no clue if this is really old or not old at all I don't know 
Maybe you guys can help me. I'll try to clean it up a little bit more. Very nice. I have something to investigate. I think pewter, but it could be deep silver. <laughs> what on earth is that? I don't know. Could this be the find of the day? There it comes. Big solid piece. Oh, it had my heart going for a minute. <laughs> no, I think it's pewter. I mean, gives a 53 signal on the AT Max. And if it would be silver, then it would be much higher, especially in a, a weight like this. But goodness me, never found such a shiny piece of pewter. Nice. I'm back at base camp just to get something to drink and to empty my pouch. I had three horseshoes and a lump of lead that is over a kilo. Goodness me. <laughs> well, that gets kind of heavy. This is also, I mean, one giant piece of lead. Definitely more than a kilo. So, we'll leave this here and on with it. You don't come across these very often, especially almost complete. It's a little toy gun. <laughs> well, that is a pretty cool find. <laughs> wow. I think early 1900s, something like that. I don't know. I have to look into that. Another item that we can do some research on found parts of the handle uh, a few times, but not like this. <laughs> Didn't even know that it had two barrels, actually. And in the end, my perseverance pays off. <laughs> Silver. That is not hard to see. Pretty heavy. And there are actually marks in it. I'm not exactly sure what it was attached to. You can see it's broken off here. First I thought it was a button, but now I'm not so sure anymore. But finally, <laughs> a little piece of silver. Hmm. Now I know what it was. Or at least what was attached to it. There's this little piece of silver again. It's just laying on the surface really. And it has been broken off previously. Don't know, maybe I can find the rest of the handle. But still I don't know what it is, obviously. It could be a little spoon, but I don't... well... that's a little bit weird. Alright, let me check if I can find some more of this. <laughs> Silver never gets boring. So, I'm just like one meter off from where I found the silver... well, spoon I would call it, probably. And now I'm onto a drawer pool, which looks pretty old to me. So I'm gonna dig around here a little bit. I was just zigzagging the last hour, but now I found a spot that I am definitely interested in. So let's see. Today is interesting pewter day, I think. Goodness me. Piece of computer here, a few bits and pieces. Here's like claw, something like that. And this came along with it. No clue what that is. And here is some sort of animal. Kind of thinking a lion. I find loads and loads of pewter spoons, but stuff like this I don't come across that often. Made it back to base camp again. It's time to wrap it up. I'm gonna walk out of here in a couple of minutes. And today I decided to show you all the things that I dug. I placed them on my jacket so you can see uh, the amount of targets that I have dug today. 
So, these are my junk finds, basically. <laughs> to the left, obviously, my iron. Quite a bit of lead. Some copper junk. Some pieces of pottery. This is not all junk, but it's pewter anyway. The hot rocks. The aluminum. And I had to dig through all that stuff to get these. These are the better finds. Ended up with, well, two pieces of silver basically. <laughs> the cap gun, really nice. This one is probably my favorite find of the day. Although this Chinese coin is also one of my favorite finds. Can't wait to find out how old it is. Well, another slick coin. Two lead seals. I'm still not sure what this is. I don't know. Could they mix up a little bit of silver with pewter? I don't know. It's so shiny. And the drawer pool. So basically, I did not find a whole lot, but I scanned the area, and there are definitely some interesting spots that I really want to come back to. The thing today was. It has been dry here for a long, long time, and the ground is really, really hard. I don't think my metal detector is going that deep now. Um, so I will be back here, but after some good rain, probably. That wraps it up for today. Thank you guys for watching, and obviously I hope you will tune in again the next time. But for now, take care.